All right, God bless your heart. Greetings, everyone. Once again, this is the servant of Jesus Christ. Robert Dunlap, I bring you greetings from God the Father and from God's Son, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Hallelujah. I greet you all today. Let's go right to work. Gonna tell you what God's Son said. Do you not know that God said the same thing? I won't talk about giving. Hmm. Some say you against giving. You just care for from giving. No, I don't. I'm not against giving. I'm against lying. I'm against lying. You tell people God still wants your tithes and offering. You are a liar. You are a liar. You are an abomination. Bring the tithe. Okay. Where the priest at? We gave our tithe to the priest. Uh, the priest had to offer his sin first before he offered our offering the tithe. Where the Levite? Where the poor? Where the widow? Where the orphan? We, we, you know, we shared with them. We ate with them. Ate and rejoiced before the Lord. Yeah, that scripture, we ate our tithing. How come the preacher don't preach that? Call he a bald faced liar. Any of you say we can get be, 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 you owe God your tithe, uh, you are lying. Any of you say uh, uh, source, source, give God a seed, you are lying. Any of you say give God a sacrifice, you are lying. Then you hear the scripture say, sacrifice and offering thou wouldest not, but a body thou have to pass for me. The only sacrifice that God received, the last and only one he ever received, hallelujah, is his son Jesus Christ. He offered himself. Scripture say the old priest back there, they had they had to offer things, but so and so does Jesus. And Jesus offered himself. One sin for all. One time. Only one time. I'm not against giving. God ain't against giving. Jesus ain't against giving. The Holy Ghost ain't against giving. But they are against life. You're lying. Praise God. You ain't obeying the Bible. You ain't giving the cause of Scripture. Hallelujah. Now your money, you do it with it, what you want to do with it, but don't lie. I know an old boy, a, a man and a woman, analyzed it, some fire, I believe in the fifth chapter of the book of Acts. Hallelujah. Uh, the apostle Peter told him that it was yours. You didn't have to lie about it. L lie and say, okay, we sold this land. We sold the possession. And, and, and here's the proceeds. And they were asked, is this what you sold it for? And they lied. And drop dead. The Holy Ghost killed them. God killed them for lying. Hallelujah! You gonna stand up and lie to God? What Bible two? Lie to the Holy Ghost. Praise God. And Peter said, "It was yours. You can do with it what you want to do with it. You didn't have to." Give that. Brought their possession of good. <laughs> hallelujah. Lay them at the apostles' feet. And the scripture said that. Hallelujah. And it was distributed to every man according as man had need. That was given. Given to man. as man had need. Whew. They brought the money. And, uh, in the goods, in possession, and laid the money at the apostle feet, and the pot, and it was distributed to every man that they had need. Now, what apart you know today? You bring money, you look at just look at your pastor. You bring him money, is he distributed to every man that he have need? 
You bail out a lie and say, yeah, he's a lie. He's a lie. He ain't doing it. His brother say it's not, it wasn't a need among them. No man like nothing. Had all, all things come. Hallelujah. <laughs> Even when it uh, came down to the, they, they had a, a, a special uh, thing for the widow, give, give it out to them. Hallelujah. Yeah, Lord, it, man, I feel all right. I'm not getting no giving. See you later getting no giving, but he's getting lying. You are lying, lie. You are lying. If your pastor say, it, 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 Pat, let me tell you, Pastor, something. Don't let the Holy Ghost kill some of y'all for lying. Folk give they tithe to the offering of their money, which is what money, no way. And you go up there, they God's faith. Let me tell you, preacher, something. You better, you better, you better heed the one. Go hypocrite him. And, 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 and say to God, God, we give you our time. Be careful you don't drop dead. You're lying. Be careful the Holy Ghost will kill you. Y'all better stop lying. God, we give you our time. You're lying. Glory to God. Glory. He only received that no more. What Bible with you? Jesus have come. Be careful you don't drop dead. Tell you that lie. Lord, we give you our tithes. You're lying. You ain't praying to the folk, they ain't praying to God. Hallelujah. All right. My God today. Let go right to wet. We are we already where well, we already in it. <laughs> God. I'm not against giving. God ain't against giving. Jesus ain't against giving. The Holy Ghost ain't against giving. Scripture is not against giving. But it is against lying. There's nothing wrong with listen, listen to me. There's nothing your church building, what you call a church building, there's nothing wrong with you providing for the your church building, paying the bills and the upkeep of your church building, there's nothing wrong with that. But don't you tell no lie. Say what it is. What about with you? Is you crazy? Let's look at giving. Glory to God. In the Old Testament, it say, open your hands wide to the poor. Oh, y'all, oh, y'all overlooked that. Let me get it. Thou shalt open your hands wide to the poor. <laughs> Google, could you get that? Hold on. Open your hands wide to the poor. Deuteronomy chapter 15 and 11. You never heard a pastor preach that before, have you? And that's the given. Hallelujah. That God he was saying back in the Old Testament. Your tithes and your offering and all that kind of thing, and the priest and all uh, that was for your sacrifice. Hey. Uh -huh. All right, let's go get over your Bible up to Luke chapter 6 at verse 38. Give, read with me, you hypocrite, you lying wonder. Give, and it shall be given unto. Let me get this clear too. P 
people have came to me. Well, Bob, you you preaching that, but some of your church members, they doing that. They going against what you preach. The scripture. What about that? They wrong. I don't care who they are. They wrong. If I do it, I'm wrong. In the book of Luke 6, 38, give it, it shall be given unto you, good men, to print down, shake together, run it over, shall men give it to your bosom. Men, why is men going to give you? And some of y'all, I don't care what you say, you say whatever you want to say, I don't care what you say. Y'all that have needs. I, I'm talking real needs. I'm not talking about greed and, just, and, and lust and covetousness, but real needs. And nobody come to your rescue. That because you're not a giver. That Bible is right. You are not a giver. I, I'm by myself. Won't nobody come to my rescue. You and I taught the thing when it comes down to natural things needed for the body, clothing, food, whatever. Even money, if need be. You you ain't telling me that. Oh Lord, well, I heard the Bible say, I never. See the righteous forsaken, nor the seed being bread. You forsaken, nobody come your rescue. You're not a giver. In the book of Luke six thirty eight, give and it shall be given unto you. Good men, press down, shake together, run those shall be given to your bosom. Now, when that is read down through the year, that's far as the folk read, but it's more to that scripture. Why me ain't gonna give it to your book? For with the same measure that ye meet with all. Uh, hold on one second. I'm trying to try to find something here. With the same mess that you meet. The same mess. I won't look at that word meet. Oh. <laughs> I, I I know what it means, but just what meds. Remember, God said, "Open your hand wide to the poor." For the same meds you beat out. Wait a minute. With all this, shall be meds to you again. When you give to the deed, if if you reap, if, if you if you give uh, sparingly, you gonna reap sparingly. I heard somebody some say some of y'all too stingy to be blessed. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. it gonna be bad to you again. When your turn comes, when men give your bosom, with the same man you gave it is. Watch it. That is Luke 6. Uh, today, back up to twenty-seven. But I say unto you, love you, but do good to them which hate you. Do good. Watch, watch this. Study. Give 
to every man that asked of thee. And of him that taketh away thy goods, ask him not again. If you love them and love you, what think you? But sinners also love those that love them. If you do good to them and do good to you, what think you? But sinners also do the same. If you lend to them of who you hope to receive, what think ye? For sinners also lend to sinners to receive much again. Lord, 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 help me, Lord, help me. I'm long and I'm looking to receive it again too. I'm looking for it. Watch it. One verse say he has led it to the poor. Or he that gave it to the poor led to God. One verse say the, the wicked uh bar, uh uh the wicked bar bar I think it's bar and pay not or something like that. I I, I have to get clarity on that. They borrow it though they don't pay you back. Wicked. You wicked. Watch it. Be ye merciful as your father is merciful. Now, hold your finger there. Hold your finger there. And I want you to go to I want you to go to Luke chapter Luke chapter 12 and verse 33. 32. Fear not, little flock. Is your father good pleasure to give you the kingdom? Watch this. Sell what you have and give all. That's what Jesus said. Give all. Until you give to those that have, that have need, you not give it according to Scripture. Sell what you have and give all. You know, Jesus told that rich young ruler the same thing. Sell what you have and give to the poor. Provide for yourself bag with wax not old, a treasure in the heaven that fell in not, where no thief approaches, neither mock corrupt, but where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. Back to verse 32 of Luke chapter 12. Fear not, little flock, get your father playing the in your father's good plan to give you the kingdom, sell what you have and give all. All right. Go over to Matthew. Go to Matthew. Here we are. Matthew 6. And what? Take heed that you do not your arms before me to be seen of them. You do something for somebody, then you go. In other words, you do it to be seen. You give it to someone to be seen. Otherwise, you you have no reward of your father. Your father ain't going to reward you for that. <laughs> I don't care what you say about God when you give to those that have the your father see it and he's going to bless you. Therefore, with that, let back up. Remember that rich young ruler? Jesus didn't tell that boy to give to the church. Jesus didn't even tell that boy to give to him. Jesus told him, say what you have to give to the poor. Now, what preacher you know would tell you to do something like that? Devil, Matthew 6, we're verse 2. Devil, when I do it, your own. 
Though thou sound trumpet before thee as hypocrites do in synagogue. And it is three, that they may have glory of men. Bear I say unto you, they have their reward. But when you do your own, let not the left hand nor the right hand do it, that thy arm may be seen in secret, and thy father which seeth in secret shall reward you openly. You give to those that have thee, God will bless you. God gonna reward you, you child of God. God gonna reward you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All right. <clears throat> I want <clears throat> Corinthians 9. Don't, don't give sparingly or grudgingly. Did you, did you not know that? They were talking about giving to the needy. You didn't know that? I brought that for at the assembly I did. Even if you look at <clears throat> verse Corinthians, second Corinthians chapter nine, verse one. Well, let go and read that whole chapter. That verse one, read that verse one. Read on down to verse six. But this I say: He that sows sparingly shall reap sparingly. He that sows boundless shall reap boundless. Every man according to his purpose in the heart. So let him give not grow love the oil in the sense. But God love God love to him give. Give it to who? Read verse nine, and it. Is written. He had dispersed abroad, and he had given to the poor. He had given to the poor. He had right to remain there. Watch it. Ten. Now he that men receive to the sore melts the bread for your food and multiply your seed song and increase the fruits of your righteousness being enriched with every good thing all bountifully which causes through us thanksgiving to God for the administration of this service not only supply the want of the same wants me lack, but it is abundant also by many thanksgiving unto God. Now, back to verse one. For in touching ministering to the saint, it is superfluity for me to write to you. I know the foreigners of your mind, of which I boast of you in the Macedonia. And Achaia was read a year ago, and your zeal have provoked very many. Yet have I sent the brethren, lest I boast of you should be in vain on their behalf, that as I said, you must be ready. Let's have it. If they of Macedonia come with me and find you unprepared, we that we say not, ye should be ashamed in this same company of the boat. Therefore, I thought it necessary to exhort the brother that they would go before you and make up beforehand your bounty. Where are ye have no had no before? That the same might be ready as a man of bounty and not a covetousness. We ain't getting this for us. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Now, we see that talk about giving to the poor. He had dispersed the broad and given to the poor. I want to show you something else. 
Support the weak. Uh -uh. I won't. Remember Jesus said support the weak. Act 2035. And we're going to knock off. And I'll be eating my breath. Act 2035. Phew. I got it. I've shown you here. It is. Let me let me get with let me get with the the, the uh, 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 thirty three. I have coveted no man silver or gold or appearance. Yet ye yourself know that these have have means of them, that these have means of my necessities, and to them that I would be. I have shown you all thee how they're so laboring. You ought to support the weak. And to remember the word of our Lord Jesus, how he said, "In more blessed to give than receive." That talk about supporting the weak, though they have me. Glory to God! You you see that? The, uh, uh, remember, doctor that died. They told they told how generous she was in giving, giving alms and all that kind of stuff. Praise the Lord. Now, uh, something else I wanted in the slip of mind now, but something else I wanted. Nevertheless, nevertheless, you see, you see, given according to scripture, you see that. How many of y'all doing that? Until you do that, you ain't giving the call to scripture. Until you give to the needy, if you don't give to the needy, you ain't giving the call to no scripture. You're not. You're not. All right. Something else, but it's still my mind. <clears throat> if it come out, put it in the comment section. All right. All right, that's enough. Let's leave right there. God bless you. We ain't, we ain't against giving. God ain't against giving. They're getting lying. Until you give it to the needy, you are not giving according to the scripture. Thank you for it. Pray God. I want this up, man. Hold on one second. I'll be back. I'll, be, I'll need to take over. Food. I won't buy nothing up. All right. Oh, we good. We good. We good. We good. We good. And I was trying to wait to see if, 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 if what does I have on was going to come to me. If I wait to see, is it going to come back? Something else. Give it. Until you give it to a need. I said need it. You have the one verse say, in John, if you if you see your brother in need and share your bowels of compassion, how dwell the love of God in you? What in the book of James, I believe it said, Hallelujah. If, if you pray, if someone in need and ain't got no clothing and all that, and you say, God bless you, be warm, be filled, that's vain. And you got the need. And you don't help him with your need, your prayer in vain, your faith in vain. Uh huh. A lot of folks say, pray for the homeless. Pray for them that don't have food. But no, you give them food. Do you know spies don't have food? Give them food. Pray the Lord. All right. Let's leave right there. Thank you for being with